I don't think I've ever looked so unattractive starting a vlog before. Good morning everybody. It is Sunday morning. It is the day after the wedding. We're a bit tired. A bit tired. We're <laughs> wrecked. Bit tired. Bit sleepy. What time did we- we stayed until the end and then we loitered for we another loitered hour. loitered at the venue for an hour and then we helped carry stuff back to their accommodation. We got back at like half one. Was it half one by the end of it? Yeah. Fair. I mean, the thing ended at 12. <laughs> it did end at 12. I thought we got back around 1-ish, but half 1 does actually make more sense. And then we got, yeah, passed out by hopefully 2-ish. And then I had an alarm set for 8.30 because we have work tomorrow, but we've got to get up at 6.30. And I was like, we can't sleep in because that will destroy us for Monday. We were kind of told that accommodation was paid for till Monday so that we wouldn't have to check out. And we found out this morning that that did not apply to our accommodation, so it's a good job I did set that alarm, otherwise we would have hardcore slept in until like 10. You were awake, I was up at 7. Were you? I was awake at 7. Oh, I was not. <laughs> but yeah, it's checkout day, we're checking out, we're loading up the car, gonna go have some breakfast, and then we're gonna go see bride and groom in their little accommodation which is right next to the venue but yeah it was a really gorgeous day yesterday really nice the weather held out it was meant to rain and then morning of it it the forecast all shifted and it was actually really sunny for the ceremony and then yeah just a very crisp autumn evening it was chilly didn't need my leggings until the walk home though i was very impressed with myself i there were a few moments where i was like i should really put my leggings on because it's so cold but i i fought through it and then I put them on for the walk home because it was cold. But yeah, it was a really lovely wedding, really beautiful. Everything went off without a hitch, as far as we're concerned, at least. Um, Chris was a very good groomsman. <laughs> He's half asleep. And yeah, it was just a really lovely evening, to see everyone, seeing everyone. Uh, but it was cold. It was a COVID safe wedding. We were in an open marquee <laughs> for the reception and the ceremony itself was outside. So yeah. Anyways, yes. Breakfast and check out. Shall we go? What are we doing for breakfast? I don't know, I'm so hungry. Okay, we'll figure it out. But yeah, this is the morning after. A, l a little hungover and a little tired. Let's go. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself? <laughs> You're just like in the vlog while watching a video in full volume. Go, and then I'm like, go brush your teeth. And you're like, no, just in the vlog. I'm like, you don't have to be here. Do what you need to do. Was I here for this conversation? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. Oh. Go brush your teeth. You really want to get rid of me? I, I don't want, want to get rid want, of you. I want to watch the vlog and see what see what kind of shit you're talking about when I leave. I'm not talking leave about the... you. God, I hate growing. You're just, you just, you've got stuff you need to be doing and for some reason you're waiting for me to end the vlog before you do them. You're not actually wanting to be part of the vlog. You're just procrastinating <laughs> doing the stuff you need to do and using the vlog as an excuse as if I'm expecting you to be part of it when I'm not. That's why I'm telling you to get up, because I know what you're doing. You don't want to be in the vlog, you don't want to go brush your teeth because you're comfy. No idea what you're talking about. I'm a vital part of this YouTube channel. I mean, you are. I'm not, not saying that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's been all day since since I picked up the camera. I'm not gonna lie, it's been it's been a long one. We've had a very busy day. We when when did I even speak to you? It was just before we checked out of the B and B, the pub B and B, King's Head. Very nice. We then met up with Chris's um, other brother and parents for breakfast. Had a lovely big fry up. Really lovely. I saw all of Chris's cousins basically as they walked past to check out and pop to the shops. We basically took over this small village for this wedding. Um, and so, yeah, we were sat out having breakfast and every five minutes we saw one of Chris's relatives walk past, which was awesome. And then we went to the bride and groom's house who had just about gotten up when we came back to load Chris's parents' stuff into the car. Had a little chill with them. They were all very happy. After that, we headed home. 
and it was during the car journey that I had a real crash. I wasn't overly hungover, um, really. I was okay. I didn't, I drank more than I usually would, but definitely not a lot. I was mildly headachey this morning, um, but it kind of disappeared around breakfast time. But then we got back in the car and it's like it all came back. So by the time we got home, I was like, blah, gross feeling. And then I had to edit yesterday's vlog, today's vlog for me, yesterday's vlog for you, which was so long. It was the get ready with me for a wedding video which didn't work out at all according to plan i was gonna do it really artistically and have like a really cute like montage of me getting ready um but then i i was then rushed because there was a fear that i needed to be somewhere by a certain time and hadn't been told and then by the time i was told i didn't have to be anywhere by a certain time uh i was already nearly finished so yeah that's a shame oh well better than no vlog at all or like what I could have done which is just a five minute you know hey we're going to a wedding today sorry I can't vlog see you later bye <laughs> I'm glad I did it it just didn't go <laughs> as well as I wanted it to but yeah it took a really long time to edit because I basically just left the camera rolling for like half an hour um while I finished getting ready so it took a really long time to edit uh and then I had to do the litter tray for the cat because I have to do that on weekends now um, and I had to get all my work stuff sorted for tomorrow, my work clothes and everything. Um, and shower, wash my hair. I'm trying to do hair wash days on the weekend now. I normally wash my hair twice a week, so I'll have to do it at least once during the week. But if I can make one on a weekend, it makes my life during the week so much easier and then yeah and then Chris came over and then by the time Chris came back both of us were like we he just he just came back and we both just kind of laid on my bed playing on our phones just like we don't even have the energy for conversation right now we're just gonna lay here and just ugh. it's just the entire weekend just kind of came on top of us it's not like we didn't sleep we kind of slept we slept okay but obviously lots and lots of socializing this weekend and drinking was involved so the energy levels are just low but we've just had dinner i think i'm just about ready for tomorrow i've decided i'm not going to make my lunch today because i can't be bothered i want to start making my lunch for work instead of buying lunch because obviously that really adds up if you do it all the time but i'm just too tired to think about lunch tonight so i'm gonna buy my lunch tomorrow then tomorrow night i'm gonna make my lunch Okay, I'm gonna do it. And right now, all that's left for me to do is edit this vlog because I have to edit at night now, um, now that I'm working full time, which is a shame because I do prefer editing first thing in the morning. But alas, this is daily vlogging. It's only for another, what vlog is this? 925? Is today 925? I've got YouTube up on my phone, let me have a look. Yeah. Today's vlog is nine, vlog 925. What was that, 75 days? 74? I don't know what we're counting. <laughs> 75 or 74 days left of, of um, daily vlogging from today. And I'm only editing at night throughout the week. So Sunday night through to Thursday night. Friday and Saturday. I can, I can edit in the morning. Unless I'm busy in the weekend. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here so that I can edit this vlog. And yeah, start my first proper week at work next week. It's exciting. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you very much for watching everyone. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Where's my cat? She's been getting very impatient with me getting, getting ready and not giving her attention. I think she's downstairs and I think my dad's watching Squid Game. I can hear them. I've not watched any of Squid Game. I've like seen clips from it and I've seen the trailer, but I don't, it's one of those shows that is like, it's obviously huge and really popular, but it's really not my thing. I'll probably end up being peer pressured into watching it. It looks like a good um, message of how messed up capitalism is and how it turns people into monsters, but I don't want to watch a bunch of people get murdered, really. It's not my thing. Saying that, I love the Hunger Games. So I don't really know what I'm talking about. I guess Hunger Games was less gory though. Although the concept was darker. I'm rambling. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.